Good morning. Happy Friday. Woohoo! We're here. We are finally at Friday. Although I, they say finally Friday, and I don't know. I say it's always Friday. It comes so fast, doesn't it? But we are here this morning. What's going on? What's going on? Let's let's see who's in the house. Ooh, you guys have been busy visiting. Um, yeah, this morning I woke up. I was quite disappointed because we didn't have snow here. And I thought, oh, I was so looking forward to getting up this morning and having uh, three or four inches of fresh white snow and have it falling in those super huge flakes. And um, John and I, yesterday, we took an hour or so and we went outside and we still have some trees hanging around from the torn, uh, well, the, from the windstorm last year. And we cut up some little pieces of cherry and uh, enough to have a nice, nice warm fire. And I have a fire going this morning. So I was really prepared for it. And uh, there was nothing. <laughs> but now the ground is kind of, it's snowing a little bit. It's not going to stick. But it's, it, I, I've got enough snow out there. I'm satisfied. I'm sorry for you guys that are getting really hit hard. Good morning, Linda. This wintry day in Michigan. Mickey, where you're you're over by the Detroit area, right? I can't remember. It's and it's uh, same in Illinois. Good morning, Tammy. Hi, how are ya? Mary, it looks and feels wintry. Yes. No snow for now. Good morning. Let me see. I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Hi, Laura. And Susan. Okay. You guys are, I love it when you guys just chat amongst yourselves. That's so cool. Boy, you guys have really, was I really late today or are you guys just in a chatty mood? Hi, Charlotte. Uh, Steven, nice to see you. Sylvia, hi. And Joanne, good morning. <laughs> 58 peeps in the house. You guys are ready for, ready for the Friday, aren't you? Um, what do I have today? I have a little bit of everything. I'm just looking at it. I got plum, I got blue satin, I got baskets, I've got milk glass, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. What do I do first? I talked to Susie Q this morning. I don't know if she's in the house. Um, before we get started on a serious a more serious note, um we have two family members, and I'm not going to say their names. Uh, one has been dealing with uh, a lot of stuff for a few months. Um, and she's a tough girl, but anything we can do to send prayers her way, please send prayers her way. Um, I just say a prayer for her. Uh, our second member is recovering, and I hope she's watching. Um, she had something very serious happen that could have been even more serious, but she's got a long road to recovery and are very dear, dear friends. So they're both uh, Rosie family members. I'm not going to say their names without permission, but know that if you're watching, you're in our prayers. We love you both and uh, praying for a speedy road to recovery. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's get started. I don't I don't know exactly what order we're going to do here, so let me pull something here. Uh, let me just see what I, I think we'll start with these two items. I have a fairy lamp too. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to give names unless I have permission to do that. Um, so we're just going to pray for strength for both of them. And uh, when we see that, their bright, smiling faces back here again, um, I'm sure they will thank us for their thoughts and prayers. Okay. I think I'm ready to go. Let me adjust this camera. 
That only take me. Ooh, that doesn't seem. That was a quirky move there. Maybe we can't use that camera this morning. Let me. Uh, let me move it. Oh, I think I have. I think I have it turned wrong here. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna flip this around. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That might be a little bit better. Okay. So here we go. That's better. We're all set. Oh, the duck. Uh, if anybody wants wants to talk about the duck, I will talk about the duck. A picture says a thousand words. I don't think I need to. <laughs> But uh, let's get the first item underway. And if somebody wants to talk about the duck, we'll talk about the duck. <laughs> All right. Here is our first item. And we're going to start this at $5. And this is for choice. And here we go. So this is a beautiful tur It's It's like a, I don't know what color you call it. It's like a turquoise blue. It's gorgeous. And we have the swan, which is a Fenton swan or the bell. And here we go. If you're having any issues, let me know this morning with the audio or the video. I think we're doing fine already. $5 with Candace, she was first. here six with sherry there's the there's the revive it sisters i have to see eileen are you in the house eileen wrote me this morning and i don't know what she said i'm i'm looking for somebody to do a show with me tonight i know it's last minute but steph or or uh, simon are you in the house Seven dollars with Marcy. This is timer and out. Good morning, Heather and Shane. I am going to do a show tonight. Uh, it's just going to be general vintage, I believe. All right, ten dollars with Sherry Bax, and we're going to do the timer. When we do choice, we always sell at least one of the items. We're up for one of them. And here we go. $10 with Sherry Bex. Hi, Facebook user. Remember, if you're bidding today, you need to put your name in because you didn't register with StreamYard, but you're very welcome to do that. You can bid anytime. $10, $11. And 11 with Linda Crosley. 13 with Sherry Bex. And we're going to go ahead and close this one out. And Sherry Bex. I appreciate that, Tammy. Sherry Bex, would you like the bell or the swan? The swan, okay. And our backup bidder is Linda, if you would like the bell. Thank you, Sherry. You do not need to register. Um, I see you fine, but if you look over here, that's how I see you, Facebook users. So next time you see, you see an ad for one of our auctions, or if you wanna go in now to one of our ads, there's a link that I think it says streamyard.com slash user something like that. I think that's it. You go in there and just tap that and then we can see you on on uh, 
on Facebook, okay? So, but today you don't have to do anything except for put your name slash your bid. All right. All right, I am gonna do the bell for seven bucks if anybody wants it. The little blue satin bell, $7 on the daisy button bell. Sherry Bex gets the swan. And I gotta go up and see that price. You're welcome. So $7 on the seven inch bell. All you gotta do is claim it and that's gonna be a quick claim if you want it. What are we going to do next? I think we'll do some more blue satin. That's what I think. I even got a fish today. Sherry Beck's going to take it for seven. Okay. Five, five, seven. Sherry. Oh, Sherry, I'm sorry. Um, another thing I should tell you if you're new. Um, we are on several platforms, so I take the first claim I see, okay? So make sure you watch the screen over here for the comment, and that'll tell you who I see first. How's that sound? Good morning, Pete. Okay, next up. We got some blue satin, and this is going to be choice, and we'll start it at 10. First of all, we have this lovely... Uh, orange tree. I had a mental block. We have this lovely orange tree and this is a beautiful uh, bowl and then we also have this piece and this one is a basket weave blue satin piece. I think these are both pre-logo. There's a piece of tape in here. I'm trying to get it out of this one. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, oh, this does have the logo. Um, this is blue satin. It might come out a little bit washed out, but it's blue satin with the lace trim. These are both Fenton logo pieces, so they're probably from the early 70s. And you're going to get choice, and we'll start it out at 10. So this one is orange tree. It is four inches across and five inches, four inches tall, five inches across. And then here's the other one, which is the little basket weave bowl. I think that looks like a pretty good picture on my end. And uh, we'll do $10 choice. This one is three and a half by five. And Stacy's gonna start us out. Morning, Stace. All right, ten dollars to start us out. As we move along through our Friday. Happy Friday, everybody! Holy smokes! Another week is coming gone. Closer to teak stock. Closer to spring. Uh, can, Marcy says, can you send me the la main link to bid? I see you, Marcy. You can bid where you're at. If you want to go to YouTube, you just have to go to uh, Rosie's Auction House on YouTube, and you'll see the live button will be on. We already have 98 beautiful peeps in the house. So here's one. We'll sell at least one. Yep, I'm going to do a show tonight. I'm trying to get some help. I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to get some help. Nobody wants to come on tonight, but it'll be me. Okay. So $10 is bid and we'll sell at least one and here we go with the timer. Cool. 
Christy. Christy, there she is. $10 is bid. I know you like the night sales. Uh, I, I just have to, I'm limited in space, so I have to move stuff out. I, I'm going to see if one of the girls can come on with me because I don't want to do a, you know, 20 lot, but I'd like to come on and do a few. And then uh, the Joseph sale is going to be next Tuesday. So that'll be Tuesday night. we got a few nights to look forward to. $10. We'll sell one. Pretty blue satin. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to sell it. Stacy, if you want them both, I'm not going to offer them to anybody else, but if you want them both, you can have them both. They're here to sell. All righty. Five, five, eight. Five, five, nine. And uh, blue, I, I have to write my descriptions a little bit better. Blue satin orange. Blue satin basket. You got it, Stacy. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, this is going to be our last timed item today. And this is an FAGCA. Oops. I thought I switched my cameras over. Hang on a second. FAGCA. This is the butterfly. That's their logo, and this is from 1986, so Fenton did make this, and it's the butterfly net in glossy rosaline. It's in great condition. The thumbnails are, I don't know what you mean, Linda. That is one of the national Fenton groups, and you'll see that right there. And we'll start this one out at $10. Kind of collectible. There's some people that like to collect the mugs. This is Glossy Rosaline. This is Fenton Made, 1986. And it is beautiful. There's the butterfly logo on the bottom. A must for the Rosaline collector. And we have ten dollars to start it. I'll get the measurements on there for you. It is three and a half by three, so it's a nice size mug. Ooh, everybody wants to be ten, and we gotta take the first one. That's our lovely Candace this morning. It's pretty, yes. Yes, indeed it is. Charlotte, 11. It is. It's a, it's a pretty pink color. It's really nice. All right, $11 for Charlotte. Here it is. Our, is this our last time to item of the day? No, I guess we got... Nope, it is. Okay, the butterfly with the net... I don't know the significance of that. But it is their logo. We have $11 of Charlotte. Look at the bottom of this. Embossed little butterfly. $12 on the bottom also. And here is our timer. Deb Fines is in at 12. Charlotte Crow is in at 13. And we've got 20 seconds left, so get your bids in. Great piece for the collector here. 
in glossy Rosaline. Welcome 100 peeps. Oh, thank you. I feel like I need a big cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> and it tastes so good on this cold, cold morning. And I got the fire all stoked up with, with a freshly cut cherry. Well, it's seasoned, but uh, yeah, ch cherry wood burns so good, smells so good. Oops. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, I think that is the name of their newsletter. I, I, it's got a story behind the net. I, I, well, what is a net? I, I don't know. I, I, I used to know, but I don't, I don't know the significance of it. If somebody knows the story, I know the butterfly net is their magazine, but I, I don't know what, I don't know what that means. Okay, let's see where we're at. Um, Don Curtis is in at 18, and she is the winner. I know stories at one time, and then I forget them, and i got to relearn them. I'm not like George. I don't have a photographic memory. <laughs> I wish I did. So 560 is going to go to Don Curtis. That's the mug. Okay, no more timer. No more timer. Did I put a tag on it? Okay. Good morning. All right. Uh, I have one little item. I'm trying to find something to go with it. And I'm just going to take the time to sell it by itself. It is a glowy glass butterfly. It's a little uh, paperweight. Or a little just accent piece. It, it, it has a flat bottom. It sits anywhere. And it is the groovy tangerine color. And it glows like crazy cadmium. It's very cute. You ran into the other room to bit. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> We're going to start it out at 15. And I think it needs a little clean here. I'll shine it up for you. I did have a stand. I think I, oops, let me see if I can get it to stand on the stand here. I pushed the stand off the end of the table. What a deal. I better test it first and see if it'll stand up there. Uh, I don't think it will. Okay. There we go. So let me, no more timer. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. These are really collectible too. They come in a lot of colors. And this one, uh, this one, I don't know, is, I've seen this one so much in this beautiful uh, orange color. That pretty. It's got a flat bottom, so it's just a little accent piece. Um, let's see how that shows up just sitting there. Yeah. There it is. And it does glow. Look at that. All right, we have 15 with Swifty. And we'll do the music, and then you can just ask us if you're in or out, or tell us. Okay. There it is. It's a pretty one, yeah. See the yellow on the tips? Sixteen, seventeen. I will collect the bids here. first. Twenty, 21 Swifty. Hey Linda. Good to see you this morning. Twenty-two, Kathy G. All you gotta do now is let me know if you're in or out. Twenty-five with Candace. Twenty-eight, 
25 with Candace. Uh, and Swifty's out already. Uh, Linda is in at 26. And we have three 26s, so we're still quite enthused about this piece. Just let me know when you're all done. That was swung vase, a stretch glass vase. Got some big, really big pieces today, along with some smaller stuff. Got a piece of plum. Uh, Candace is in at 28. Here it is. I do have a few vases. Yeah, you gotta stick around. 30 with Kathy G. There's so many people bidding I can't keep track. So yeah, a little it, it's a little piece of plum, but I had it sitting in the back room. It's time it's time to move it. Kathy G is at 30. I am hoping um, it's, go it's going to get warmer. And it's going to get warmer on Monday and Tuesday. Warm enough, I think I can go over to the other house, over to Drummies. And I think that we can work more out of the trailer with the, with the floral shop, Fenton, and whatever's in there. So I think that's going to be um, next week on Monday and Tuesday in the morning. Okay. And maybe a night sale. I don't know. It's going to be 52. If the sun's shining and 52, it's perfect over there. Candace, I think there's just two of you in now. Um, so let us know. Our current bid is with Kathy G. We're waiting for Candace. If I miss somebody, fair warning. Hi, Monica. Good morning to you. 34 with Candace. And just waiting for Kathy. Just waiting for Kathy G. I'll put a number on it while we wait. Oh my gosh, I got a Marilyn Wagner, didn't know it. 35 with Kathy G. Holy, holy smoke a moly. Uh, Candace, let us know. We'll just wait. Okay, we still have uh, active bidding 36 with Candace. Hope everybody has something special planned this weekend. Even if it's just a good meal. to look something up. I heard something the other day I wanted to show share with you. I don't know if I can find it. If I if I can I'll share it with you. I can't find it. We'll have to work. We'll have to talk about it next week. 38 with Kathy G. <coughs> Heidi, I've always missed your boutique sales. I need some clothes. When is your next one? Um, right now, I want to work at the, in that flower shop, um, the flower shop trailer. There's some purses and bags in there. Um, I guess I could put in some clothes, but I got some more. I got another order of clothes coming in. So I would say it's probably going to be a week. It's probably going to be a week. Blessings, Renaissance. Kathy G., let me know. I have a Marilyn Wagner Bear coming up. Oh, my gosh. We're breaking records in attendance this, this morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for what you did do, Kathy. Candace is going to get that one. And this is 561. Okay. 
All right, that was awesome. So we have a surprise, and it's unadvertised, and I better shine it up a little more. I um, I did not know this was a Marilyn Wagner piece. I just picked it up out of the barn here because I didn't have enough stuff here, so I went out in the barn here, and here it was, and it's a, I, I just thought it was a glowy bear. You know, it glows. Look at that. But lo and behold, there was a sticker on the bottom, and I chose to take it off today. It's still a little. Still a little dirt on it. So this one has the butterfly on the bottom. What was the story about the butterfly? I'm not even going to guess about that, but I think... Um, I think the butterfly with Marilyn Wagner was something that she she um, she did on her on her side time or her downtime when she wasn't working at the factory. I don't know. Somebody will tell me the story. I don't even want to. That that's an educated guess, or I'm trying to remember guess. But she's put the butterfly on this one, which is kind of a neat thing. She did she did that on her own time. Okay, that's what it was. So I got it right, didn't I, Pamela? I did not see this bear. Um, I, I just kind of uh, sprayed it down, so it's a little wet right here. I, it had a little dust on it. The violets are lovely. This is Marilyn Wagner, uh, probably the second sought-after artist out there. Of course, she's passed. Um, this glows like crazy. I'm telling you, she it's on fire. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give everybody a chance at this cutie, and start her at 35. And this is an instance where the artist makes a huge, huge difference. Um, and the fact that it glows is just crazy. Now, if, if you were to ask me a retail price on this bear, I would say $150 um, because of the signature on the bottom. Now, that's just an educated guess, but um, the artist makes a huge difference and i would say 150 without the fact that it glows but it does indeed glow so that's an extra bonus <laughs> 42 with marcy 45 with candace justine i failed to say uh hello to you this morning and i i i should have because i was just um, i was just so thrilled that you came back today 65. So you'll see the butterfly. When you see the butterfly, um, Marilyn was working at Fenton at that time, I believe, but she painted this on her own time. So that's how she kind of distinguished. Look at the eyes. Um, um, omitted, all you have to do is bid, but I'm going to ask after you bid that you right away email me, okay, so I can see that. We had, we had, uh, we're having some people that are coming in and they're not contacting me. We had one at Trudy's sale, so 93, 94, 95, yes. Artist makes a difference here. Artist makes a difference. And Marilyn Wagner, if you see them out in the wild, and I'm so glad. Oh, it's okay. Um, it's not terrible, Marcy, because we get we seldom get a, a non-payer. I, I have to tell you, I think we are so fortunate that everybody pays and pays quickly. Um, and I, I count my blessings every day for that. 110. But once in a while, you get one. It's a bad egg, but it's okay. <laughs> Would anybody like that non-pay item? I think it was, if you were at the sale, I think it was the uh, frog. We're closing that sale out today. And that was the St. Patrick's Day frog. I did that before on the trip. If somebody wants that, let me know. We'll figure out a price on that. 
It was the special St. Patrick's Day frog with the sham shamrocks on it. Uh, it was 140, but we'll, I'll do a little better. I'd have to, I'd have to check with, uh, with Trudy. Okay. Okay. Let me write that down. Oh, oh, please let me remember to tell Trudy. I'll, I'll have to check with Trudy. Stacy was first. That's going to make her day. And Sherry, I'm sorry, but Stacy was first, okay? Um, and okay, let me let me let me go back and get the comments. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna make her day because we were just I talked with her last night, and she, and she always you know she was really disappointed somebody didn't pay, especially for a seasonal item. Uh, and she says, well, we're just gonna have to hold it. She's gonna be thrilled. I'm gonna call her right after the sale. Okay, I'm going to do a fair warning because I have lost track of everybody um, talking. Christine's out. Okay, I think I think we're all out. Laura is in at 1.30. All in, all done. I'm going to call this one because I have lost track. And it is a Maryland piece. So fair warning. Oh, you guys are so awesome. 562. So it's going to be sold to Laura Whitcomb. Great deal. Great investment piece. You cannot go wrong with a Marilyn Wagner. Thank you, Laura. Can't go wrong. Okay. I'm doing some single pieces because, well, we'll, we'll, well, let's do something bigger and we'll return to that. Um, I've got this super huge milk glass vase here. And let me, let me clean up one of these little hobs. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put this up and start it at at uh, 15 and let, let me show you first so this dial um, vase is collected in a lot of colors it's very pretty this one's a pre logo and it is uh, Fenton and I'll, I'll give you the measurements it's 11 inches tall and we're gonna start it at 15 Awesome. Laura, I've got a little candle holder or something for you, so now I'll, I'll put that together with it. Okay. Uh, so we'll start this one at 15. And let's see if I can get this on, on the round where you can see it. There we go. Okay, we'll start this one at 15. I got a couple of, oh, that's really big. I got a couple of milk glass pieces. So we'll put this one up first and then we'll do the swung vase. Then we'll move back to some baskets and some more little stuff. I got some eggs too. 114 peeps. This is a record for, for um, a morning, I think. How cool is that? Okay, we have 15 to start it. And here's the music. While you guys are bidding on this, I'm going to go check my fire. I do not want it to go out. We Jen and I just cut a bunch of cherry wood yesterday, and it's so nice to have the heat.
something about that wood heat, I just love it. I love to hear it crackle when you put a new piece in. I love the dryness of the heat. It's just, I love it. Oh, Kathy says she's bringing her one of a kind Maryland pig to Teak Stock. Ooh, that's something to look forward to. I cannot believe how fast it's coming. <sighs> All right, 20 with Karen Lord. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, okay. I see 20, but I think, Swifty, did you bid 20 on this? I don't, you're going to have to bid again, sweetie, because, okay, now we're all set. <sighs> Milk glass is so pretty. Goes with everything. Barb is in at 22. I, I didn't see it, uh, Swifty, because I got up and checked the fire. But now it's okay because it's 22. So, but I'm kind. Let me know if you're in or out. This morning when I got up, it, the fire was almost completely out. It took me a little work to get it going, and I I don't want to do that again. I'm out of I'm out of paper to start it. 23 with Karen Lord. JB, good to see you this morning. Good to see you. You were lucky. To, I know. Well, that bear had a sticker over the bottom of it. And for some reason, I thought, I'm going to look and see what that is. Remember, you know, you can always look under those stickers and... and some people like to keep the stickers. Well, you know, use a little teapot and some steam. Get that sticker off so you can put it right back on and check who's underneath there. <laughs> All right, Karen Lord, let me know. Okay, Karen's out. Our high bid is 24 with Barb. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And... Uh... It is going to be 563. And with me, I don't know if it if the price tags and stuff mean that much difference. But to some they do. Okay. I'll put my little swung vase up here too. Let me let me grab it. I gotta reach for it. Okay. Now this one has the original foil Fenton sticker. Now um, you you can actually tell the age by the color of the sticker, the shape of the sticker. I'm I I'm not well versed on it, but I know you can um, if you look it up. And this is a little melt glass swung vase. And I say little because it's not the super huge one. But it's still a foot tall. And there it is. And we will start this one. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll start this one out at 15. It looks like it's crooked. Why is that crooked? I, I don't know. But it, the vase is not crooked. It definitely isn't. And it's taller than, I shouldn't call it little because I can't even fit it in the screen. But we're going to do 15 to start it. This one has the original foil sticker. Um, and it is a swung vase, hobnail melt glass. You're trying to be good? <laughs> a piece like this you can't go wrong on. Classic. Here we go. So we're gonna try to pull off a vintage sale tonight. And we may have a surprise guest. I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna try hard to get a surprise guest in here. I, I don't know who that is yet. 
I, I can't get anybody that wants to do spur of the moment things. Eileen is out of town. All right, here we go. So it may be me solo. That's okay. Everything's bouncing around. Hey, Jody. For some reason, I got a bouncy table. Um, we have 25 with Jody. Barb, Candace, let us know. No, is I I have alley cats. I don't have the smaller cats. You have a sneaky suspicion I can handle it solo. It's it's a hi Barb, our our Pat. It's about a foot. It, I think it's just sh just short of a foot. Yep, like a quarter of an inch. Oh, you want to see the label again? I don't. I'm. I'm trying to figure out why this is so bouncy today. Ooh. Let me go ahead and get the screen up here. 34 with Candace. There it is. It's the red label. It seems it's better days, but it, it's more like a pink label. It's foil. Oh, I can't wait to call Trudy and tell her that her frog is gone. Oh, that's cool. She was so worried about that. She says, well, that was a St. Patrick's Day frog. She says, we'll have to keep that. Oh, my. Never fear. We'll see what we can do. Thirty-five, thirty-six. Thank you for the hearts. I see them and appreciate them. Always appreciated. Um, I'm going to check the subscribers this morning. And we are holding strong at 2113. If you are watching, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join our little Rosie family here. We meet quite often. <laughs> and uh, we don't really advertise the sale. So you want to you wanna subscribe to the channel, so click the notification bell. And you'll see when we pop up. 42 with Candace. And let me see here. Monica is... Monica, let me know if you're out. I'm just going back. Candace, I think, said she was out. Maybe not. Oh, Candace is the winner, winning bid. Monica's at 44. Okay, we're down to two now. Fair warning. And uh, Candace, let us know. Uh, 1957 to 71 on the on the is it. Is it, it's a red label or a pink, isn't it, Jim? If you're looking at that, Jim, what other, what, this is 1957 to 71? Okay, is there another, what, what's the blue label? I think I see the blue label, too, once in a while. Jody, I think I'm going to pop on at 8. 45 with Candace. Uh, Monica let us know. So the the pink label here, or the kind of fuchsia, we'll call it fuchsia, um, is from 1957 to 71. Okay. So it's it's 
it's a pretty old label. It's it's seen its better days, but it's on there. It's stuck too. It's not taped. All right, Candace, just waiting for you, sweetie. All right, appreciate what you did do. We're going to sell this one to Monica. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, let's do the fairy lamp. This is a little blue satin fairy lamp. Again, this is a, this. Ooh, we got some we got some chips in that. We got some problems in that one. Um here's the base. We got some problems. There's some chips on that. There's some boo-boos. It's here to sell though. So as is. We'll start it at a buck. Now, I'm not saying those chips are bad. I'm just saying we need to move this, okay? So I'm going to start it at a dollar, and you guys can go at it. Maybe you'll find the base. And I'm going to show you the condition of that base. Uh, pretty big chip. Pretty big hunk of, hunk of glass out of there. You really don't notice it too bad. Why am I bouncing so much? Why is it bouncing? So? I got to figure that one out. Okay. Uh, here we go. As is condition. Just want you to know. It's got a big old hunk out of the bottom of it. It's just the way it is. Jim says, depending on the style, the blue label could be 1939 to 1949. Okay, so if we see a blue label, we know that it's older than the red label. And those are the foil labels. Houston, we have a problem. Yes. Rebecca Rose. I'm... Rebecca, Rebecca's going to kill me because I keep having trouble getting a hold of you, Rebecca. Please let me know. I'm not connecting your name with your with your email. For some reason, I don't know why. And I'm looking at my emails right now, and I still can't seem to find you. So are you... Are, uh, Rebecca, are you contacting me via personal messages? And even if you can just give me a last name so that I can figure it out. I got a huge audience this morning. <laughs> I know. I'm thrilled. People must be tuning into my videos. Uh, Rebecca, I apologize because it's my fault. You've told me once and I thought I could remember it and I didn't write it down and then I can't seem to find you again. It's totally my fault. You know what, Rebecca, I'm going to give you like a big, I'm going to give you free shipping because, because you've got a pile here and I don't have it, sweetie. I, it, I think, uh, and it may be because I took it, took it off thinking I could remember it. Can you send me another one? It's totally my fault. I'm telling you, it's totally my fault. Sometimes I think I can remember without writing it down. And for some reason, I'm, I'm looking. Are, are, you, are you bashful? If you know what I'm talking about, B-A-S, Basham or something? If that is the, I think I just found it. All right. Um, Oh, got it now. I, you know what I'm going to do, Rebecca? And I'm going to show you. I circled.
all that. <laughs> I've circled it. See, I, I, I have, I, do you guys have that problem? You think that you're going to remember something and you're like, oh, I don't need to write that down. I'll remember that. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't let me do that to you. Okay. Um, Marcy, I, and I'm going to do you, give you free shipping because you've waited, you've waited a long time. I know you've got several invoices out there. Okay, so this is sold. Man. And it's $5.65. And Marcy gets it for $20. Yeah, that that's 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 the hitch in my giddy up. Okay. John, if that's you if that's you trying to call me, John, let me know if there's some something I need to I usually don't get calls during the show. If that's you, John, let me know. Looky. A Rosaline trout. Goodness gracious. And this one is six inches tall. Now, um, at one time, I had these boxed up. These are very hard to find, okay? This one is 12 out of 2,000. It's numbered, and it's the Rosaline Trout. This is the last one that I have. I don't think I've sold one in a couple years. I, I did have like a, a dozen of these, um, but this was I, this was out in the barn, and this is the last one that I have. It's just gorgeous. We're going to start it at 25. The Rosaline Trout. Etched on the bottom, very limited production piece. Hard to find. Here we go. Glad you're not alone. Oh. Do you ever have... Do you, okay, this is classic of me. This is classic of me. Um, as I'm doing something, I, I'll, I'll do something stupid, and I'll tell myself, don't do that, Heidi. You're never going to remember where you put that. And I'm putting it there so that I remember where it is. <laughs> but something in my brain goes, don't do that, Heidi. You're never going to remember that. <laughs> And then I go to look for it, and, and yeah, I didn't remember where I put it. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to your inner voice. Don't put it there. <laughs> I would worry about myself if this hadn't been, hasn't been happening for the last 30 years. <laughs> 65 with Barb Rickle. Sixty-five with Barb. <laughs> it's not just you. That's why I love you guys. We can all relate. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. Do you guys ever watch the Red Green Show? We're all in this together. All right, let me go up and take a look here. I think Barb is our high bid, but I get to talking. Welcome to the club. Yep, we're all in this together, as, as Red Green would say. And if you don't know who Red Green is, look him up and watch him. You'll laugh. Your, you'll just laugh. It's just a happy show. All right, so I think we're all set here. All right. The good part is we can laugh about it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome. Okay. And this is uh, 65 with Barb. Awesome. I am a man. I can change. Pete knows red green. You guys know red green? Oh, my gosh. I need to have... We need to sit down and watch Red Green and have like a, what do they call it now? The kids call it binge watch. Um, 
red green and then his sidekick with the glasses i can't remember his name oh, for a while i watched red green constantly yeah he fixes everything with duct tape that's just like me <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of red green uh, there's there's got to be youtube videos on red green the crs teresa what was the crs club what was the crs club okay <clears throat> i'm gonna sell this piece okay um this is fenton usa it is 350 or it is 327 out of 750 made. Sue Waters, Fenton, USA. The list price is 179. There are YouTube videos. Yes. Okay. So if you want a little happiness in your day and a little silliness, which that, that's what I was going to share with you. There's a, a happiness survey just came out, and uh, it says that we're we're unhappy in this country by by a lot. Watch Red Green. Sure, I, I can guarantee you it's a prescription for uh, a, at least a couple checkles every half hour. <laughs> so, um, Deb, that's why we have it twice a year. Maybe you can come another time, or we're you don't have to worry. We're gonna bring it to you at home. Is he Mr. Green Jeans grown up? Yeah, I know. What is the CRS club? Did somebody say that? Oh, can't remember. Shh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my God, I can relate to that now. We're all a part of the CR, the CRS club. <laughs> Let's start this one at 35. Do me a favor this weekend. If you haven't watched Red Green, Get on YouTube and look up a couple of his videos, and we now have a club. Well, we've always had the Rosie Club, but yeah, you better write it down, Deb. <laughs> I can see you, William. I'm sorry. We're just being silly this morning. All right, we have 35. We're just being silly. <laughs> We're all part of the CRS Club. Fenton, USA. <laughs> Check out the air conditioner episode. Oh my God. If somebody wants to put a link, I'll, I'll, ha oh, I don't know if you can put a link. It's just red green on YouTube. All right, 45 with Stacy. So this one is eight inches by about eight inches. It's pretty big. It was made Fenton USA, so this is made in the very last year of Fenton production when they were making glass. Selena, hi. What a pretty name. Fifty-five with Stacy Freeman. And uh, Jody, let me know if you're in or out. Here's Stacy Freeman, and we're waiting for Jody. I think everybody else is out. Okay, Teresa. Yeah. So yeah, do me a favor and and uh, watch a couple red green episodes, and we'll check in on Monday. <laughs> if somebody, if nobody's ever watched him, um, and there's 115 of you on this morning, go and watch a couple episodes or two, and and come back Monday and tell me what you think. <laughs> What's the name of our club again? I can't remember what it's called. 
<laughs> All right, Jody's in at 57. And Stacy is out. All righty. And Jody, uh, you're going to win that one for uh, $57. Thanks, Jody. That's five, six, seven. clean this one out too. Well, we'll do the fish one. Let's do a basket and then we'll do this this great looking fish one. <clears throat> We're going to do a basket first while I clean this up. We're not, I'm not getting to everything. I think I'm talking too much today. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm going to start this one out. At 25 and let's take a look that picture looks fuzzy all of a sudden so here we go this one has a carnival crest to it it, it kind of looks black but it's iridized so I think it's a carnival crest um, it's a beautiful golden color oh Michelle Kibbe Michelle Kibbe, there you go. That's our gal. We love Michelle. This was painted um, when the factory was open. So it is a beautiful Michelle Kibbe. Another one where artist makes a difference for sure, especially during the glass making years of Fenton. And here we go. Michelle Kibbe, beautiful. It's this one is both opalized and iridized has the original Fenton sticker on it. And it is nine inches tall and this one's a treasure. It's a treasure. Another one I did not look at the name before I brought it up here. Uh, it is a Kibbe, so you get another beautiful piece today, unadvertised. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Golden color. Iridized. It's going to throw a lot of colors. Forty two dead finds. Thank you, new subscriber. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. If you're in the room and you just subscribed, let me know. I want to thank you personally. 45, Jamie Haynes. Record attendance this morning for a Friday, um, especially a solo sale. I appreciate everybody coming out today. We're, we're at 120. Wow. Uh, Jamie is in at 45. Deb Fines, let me know if you're in or out. Uh, oh, we still got active bidding. Okay, Deb is out. Thank you, Selena. It is a pretty, pretty piece. Okay, I think we're just waiting for Jamie. I, I get it up here on the round and I look at it and it's like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, bug, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at so look at everybody. We got a, a new uh, gal in the house or, or guy, I don't know. Uh, but it is wonderful to see you. I hope you subscribed. I hope you subscribed. We don't always do Fenton. We, uh, we do a lot of things here on the channel. I think you'd love it here. Oh, thank you. Somebody else just subscribed. Oh, I appreciate you. Make sure you come in and say that you did so I can thank you personally. Um, Nancy Eldred's in at 49. No, no, no. Jamie's in at 50. Nancy, you got to go a little higher. Selena, thank you. 
from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for subscribing. That was awful nice of you. Um, Nancy Eldred, let me know if you're in or out. I think, we, I think I'm just waiting for Nancy. Uh, fair warning, there's a lot of people in the house, so I may miss your bid. When I say fair warning, make sure you get a bit, bit up there. You got to go higher, Nancy. Jamie, Jamie was already in at 50. Michelle Kibbe. Thank you, Bug. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thanks for what you did do, Nancy. This one's going to go to Jamie. Jamie, did you get any snow in Kendallville? I think it's going to miss you guys completely. All right, here is a special piece. Again, I'm glad that I didn't have time to look at this because I like fishes. I like fishes <laughs> and this one has a bunch on it look at the color of this periwinkle this periwinkle oh look at look at this is definitely one of a kind even though this was a production piece just the nature of the glass makes it one of a kind and look at the inside of this I'm sure this was purchased because of that what an amazing color on the inside and it has fish the original Fenton tag and logo. I think it's an 80s piece. Let me let me look and see if I can make that out. Yes. Wait. No, 90s. So I'm going to start this one at 25 and go. Very unusual. I'm starting at low to give everybody a chance. Welcome, Bug. Welcome, Bug and, Bug and Selena. What a wonderful morning. What a wonderful morning this is turning out to be. New friends. Okay, here we go. Nine inches. Unusual. I've never seen this in this color. I've never seen it with all these variations inside. Isn't that pretty? Serena, Patty Spies is in at 40. I love fish. For some reason, I love fish. All right, let me see if I can. That picture seems to be a little fuzzy. So I'm, go I'm going to bring it over here. I, that, that picture seems a little fuzzy. I thought about getting this painted, but I didn't. Um, I didn't want to risk putting this in the kiln because of the inside of this bowl. We could have, this could have been really pretty painted, but you know, when you, when you kiln fire things, you always have that risk of it not surviving the temperatures and cracking or something. And, and I thought the inside of this, I wasn't going to do that on this piece. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes. All right. So I'm going to do a last chance and I'm going to go up and check these bids again. Fifty dollars. Um, Patty's out. Um, Linda, Linda, let me know. Linda with the long name. Candace, you were back at thirty-two, so I'm just assuming with you. But um, Linda, if you could let us know. And right now, Serena's in, just waiting for Linda. Last chance. Fifty dollars is our bid. Wow. 
All right. Ooh, Patty jumps in at 52. And Serena, let me know. I thought you had it. Patty, she's, she's sneaky. She got in there. All right. 569 goes to Patty Spees. You know, it seems like when we were, I, 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 do people really have, like, like uh, Renaissance has got, well, he used to have a fish tank. It seems like when we were growing up, everyone had fish tanks. Everybody had a fish tank. I don't know if they're so popular today, like they were back then when I was a kid. All right, I wrote that down. I told you guys I, I had a little plum piece, and I'm going to put it up. It's, it's a... I gotta, I gotta wash it off a little bit. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember clean when it was time to clean the fish tank. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> Maybe there's an easier way to do it nowadays. This has, I, I didn't wash this. I've got a little plum bowl here. I'm going to start this one. Oh, of course, you guys know plum is one of the most sought-after colors out there. This is a little bowl, trinket dish, um, whatever, but it is in plum opal. It is, it is six inches across, and we'll start it out at 20. It is in plum opal. Now, I think that, did they, I know they used real gold and, and, um, cranberry but I'm I think they did in the plum too okay a uh, Facebook user please put your name in okay um I'm gonna go see who called me I'm a little worried about that I normally don't get calls during the sale so I'll let you bid on this while the music plays I'll be right back I'm a little worried about that I heard it ring. <coughs> well, I'm trying to click on the bids and nothing's clicking. Here we go. 37. Your screensavers on a TV and aquarium, that is, oh, I'm going to have to try that. I like to watch things like that on YouTube too. Um, especially when I'm just, you know, doing invoicing or just sitting there relaxing. I like to put on like aquariums or beaches or, um, just, it's really cool. A matter of fact, I, I, I never thought I wanted one of these big TVs, but now that I'm doing that, it, it's kind of like, maybe I'd like to have a bigger TV. <laughs> 42 Sherry Backs. Tammy's got a fireplace on hers. Yeah, I've used the fireplace too. Rogo screensavers. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down. Hey, 
that's my plum. John, was is that you trying to call me? I just want to make sure. Roko, R-O-K-U. No, it's not your plum. Okay, it just rang again. Um, so, John, after, after the sale, can you call me? I can't find that darn phone, and I just heard it again. There's a show called Tanked where they install amazing aquariums. Oh, that would be interesting. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much, Jody. $50 is our high bid, I think. Let me make sure Pamela was the first. I'll try to concentrate. $55 with Jody. $55 with Jody. 56. That show's awesome. Really? Let me write that one down too. It's called Tanked. You know, I can never find anything on TV. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check that one out. Heidi, I need your help. I have to find a special piece for Chris's birthday, May 9th. I'm gonna be on the road to Michigan. Oh, oh, special gift for Chris. Okay, we'll have to talk about that. Candace, I see you fine. Jody's at 58. Did I miss a bid? I see you're 56, but we already had 58, so I just jumped it up there. I remember growing up, we had guppies, and I love to see the little guppies with their fancy tails. The dimensions, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Six inches, it's six inches across. There's a little lift to it. There's a two inch lift to it. Fifty-nine with Candace. Do you have marbles, Molly's? What? I don't know what that is. Fifty-nine with Candace. Jody, let me know if you're in or out. I think we're down to two bidders. Fair warning. Jody's in at 61. Candace, let us know. I do have some eggs here. I think we'll put the eggs up next since we're approaching Easter. Not that eggs aren't popular all the time, but... All right, Candace, appreciate what you did do. Jody's going to get this one for 61. Oh, fit marble mo Molly's. Molly's. I, I recognize that name now. Let's do the eggs. All right, so I have two of them. I've lost track of the conversation, so I apologize. <laughs> this is a K uh, L U P something or other. She has a huge name. It says the Fenton F and script. This was limited to 2,500. It's a beautiful rainbow iridized egg. Now you're going to see some frit that gives it an extra sparkle right there. 
beautiful four inch pedestal egg. And then our second one has some gold on it. This is a rooster. This is a B Flaughterty. This one is also limited to 2700 and this one has the rooster on it. And you'll see all the gold on the rooster. And, uh, oh, you have two plum candlesticks. Wow. So there is, and this one is green. So you're going to get your choice of the eggs. You'll notice that these styles are different. Um, Benton had a couple molds for these eggs. One, one's a pedestal egg. Well, they're both pedestal eggs, but one is slightly higher. I think they're about four inches. Let me double check. Yep, four inches and then a little bit lower on the green egg. And the green egg does have the gold on there, real 22 karat gold as an accent. And we're going to go ahead and start these at $20. And you will get choice on the eggs. Last item of the morning. John likes to pair off topaz with purple. Um, oh, I gotta tell, Eileen's looking up for some, something and I already found it, let me. All right. All right, here we go. 25, your choice. See why I'm bouncing around. Twenty six with Linda. Last item of the day, or items of the day. I do have an as-is piece I'm going to show you. Let's see if anybody wants to pick it up. It's not Fenton, though, but I have it sitting here. And since we're talking about fish, you'll get your choice of the eggs, 26 with Linda. Now the snow's really coming down. Now this is what I've been looking for. Pretty big flakes. I'll see if I can find, uh, I think I have a bud vase sitting around. Maybe, I'll, maybe I can put that in tonight if I can come across it. All right. So 26. We'll do a last chance. I'm going to remind you of our bid. Charlotte, let us know. Dawn, let us know. And Susan, let us know. Okay, we still have active bidding. 28 with Dawn. Snowing. It, it's pretty now. It, it's big flakes. Charlotte's out. Dawn's at 28. Jody, let us know. Jody's at 29. Well, I didn't think he missed the mark. It's been so mild here, but it's like uh, winner's going to say, hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, okay. Linda's at 30. Dawn is out. And uh, Jody let us know. Holy smokes, I can't keep track. Uh, just Jody. Just Jody. So Linda's at 30 and just waiting for Jody. It looks wet. I mean, the cars are going pretty fast. It's not any, it's probably just going to melt. You planted lettuce and spinach already? Okay, I'm just waiting for Jody. We'll do a last chance. 
Okay. Okay, we're selling it to Linda. Linda with the long name. And our backup is Linda. Oh, no, 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 no. Linda with the long name is the winner. Our backup is Jody. They're not. <laughs> it makes me feel like spring in here, though, doesn't it, Charlotte? Okay, 572 and 573 go to Linda. Thank you. We get a lot of people in the Milwaukee area, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take off. Um, I'm 85% sure I'm going to have a show tonight. It depends what I can clear out of here today. What I, but um, watch the channel around 3 o'clock, and I will post the information. If I come on tonight, it will be at 8. Um, I don't know what's going on over the weekend, but definitely Monday, I think I'll be doing either a choice sale or... Um, one of the flower shop sales because the trailer's over at the other house. It's going to be warmer, so I'm, I think I'm going to head out to Drummies on Monday. So have a great day. I hope to see you again here tonight if all goes well. If not, don't worry, uh, but that's the plan. So thank you so much for attending today. Thank you, the newbies that came in the house. I'm delighted to meet you and hope that you can come to another sale. And um, I, I will see you later, Gators. Awesome. Have a good weekend.